And it's, it's a fledgling uh, workshop, I would say. Uh, so it's difficult to convince people to think about uh, these things in the functional community. But if you're listening and if you think, well, I've written this paper, you know, five years ago when I, have to, I could reframe it maybe a little bit in architectural terms, uh, even though it's not strictly super original material, but I could reframe that paper, then think of submitting it either to next year's Fun Arch, which hopefully we'll have. Uh, there's also functional architecture category at the Journal of Functional Programming, which which I'm heading, where you could also send it. So, but but write stuff so that us who are trying to popularize functional programming and point at papers or point at books, books would be even better, right? And say, well, here, dear manager, if you're concerned, or dear programmer, you know, you want to learn about functional programming, dear manager, you're concerned that your programmers might learn about, there's books. There's, here's this material, there's websites, maybe, there's blogs. There's maybe papers. what we are missing is having a gang of four of functional programming and having like uh -huh. design patterns, yeah. similar kind of things, right? Like where you yeah. really have this philosophy of what does it mean? Yes. And that's another example. So uh, that's, that's another example, of course, the patterns thing, right? The functional community has always looked down on patterns because, right. oh, 19 of the 21, whatever, gang of four patterns are just libraries and functional programming. We don't need no stinking patterns. But of course, we have lots of patterns in functional programming yeah, yeah. that are just different, right? But, yeah. but nobody's written them up. 